Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use recursive best first search algorithm to find optimal path from initial node to the goal node with the help of simple solved example. This is the solved example number one. Link for other example is given in the description below. Recursive best first search, also known as RBFS, is an inform search technique. It is similar to recursive depth first search algorithm, but rather than continuing indefinitely down the current path, that is until we reach a goal node or no successes, it uses an evaluation limit to keep track of the best alternative path available from the ancestor of the current node in this case. I have already discussed recursive depth first search algorithm. Link for that video is given in the description below. In this video, we will understand RBFS with the help of a simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a graph with uh, A as the initial node and G as the goal node. The link cost from A to B is 5. Similarly, all the link costs are given here. Similarly, the heuristic values for each node is given in this table. That is, the heuristic value of A is 12, the heuristic value of B is 12 and so on. Given this thing, we need to apply the recursive best first search algorithm and then we need to find an optimal path from A to G in this case. In recursive best first search algorithm, we use the following uh, equations. We will discuss each of these things uh, as and when we come across those equations. First, we will start with the initial node. The initial node in this case is A. First, we will check whether initial node is a goal node or not. A is not a goal node. So, what we need to do is we need to set the F limit for this uh, A. So, what is the F limit? Initially, we will set the F limit is equal to infinity. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to find the successors of A here. So there are three successors are there that is B is the first one, C is the second one and D is the third one. So these are the three successors are there. We need to find the successors as well as we need to find the F value for A as well as to the successors in this case. Now the question is how to calculate the F value for uh, A. To calculate the F value we know the equation that is F of uh, n is equal to g of n plus h of n. g of n is the true cost and h of n is the heuristic value here. For a, f of a is equal to g of a that is from a to a the cost is 0 plus its heuristic value that is 12. So, 0 plus 12 is equal to 12 that is what I have written here. Now, we need to calculate the f value for the successors. While calculating the f value for successors, we need to use this formula. here. Uh, first, we will consider the first successor that is B. That means B dot F we want to calculate, which is equal to maximum of B dot G plus B dot H. That is uh, the true cost to reach B plus its heuristic value. So, what is the true cost? That is 5 here. And its heuristic value is how much? 12. 12 plus 5 is equal to this will become 17 here. Comma. What is node dot f? Node is what? The root node here. That is 12 in this case. Here we will find the maximum between 17 and 12. Between these two, 17 is maximum. So, b dot f will become how much? 17 in this case. Similarly, we will calculate c dot f. c dot f is nothing but what? Here the true cost from a to c is 4. 4 plus its heuristic value is 10. So, 4 plus 10 is equal to 14 here. Comma again node dot f is how much? That is 12 in this case. The maximum between these two is 14. That is what I have written here. Similarly, we need to calculate the F value for D in this case. Now, once you calculate the F values for the successors, we need to find the best among these successors. Out of these three, which is the best? The one which is having the minimum F value. So, in this case, D is the best here. Now, what we need to do is we need to compare the best of F. What is the best of F? 12. Whether 12 is greater than the f limit. What is the f limit right now? Infinity. Whether 12 is greater than infinity? 12 is not greater than infinity. So, this statement will not be executed. It will go to the next step that is alternate path is equal to second best successor node. What is the second best successor node in this case? C is the second best successor node and its f value is equal to 14 here. Now, we will calculate the new f limit previous f limit was infinity. Now, we need to calculate the new f limit that is minimum of f limit that is uh, infinity comma 
alternative of uh, FLU. Alternate FLU is equivalent to how much? 14 in this case. That is infinity comma 14. The minimum between these two is 14 here. So the new F limit will become 14 here. Now which one we need to expand? D we need to expand here. So we will write the F limit on the top of this node that is uh, 14 and we will find the successors of D. The first successor is A here and the second successor is F in this case. Now we need to calculate the F values of A and F. So how to calculate the F value for A? The F value for A is, you just check it out how you reach this A. We have reached this A from A to D and then D to A. A to D is 5 and D to A is 5. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 and heuristic value of A is equal to 12. 10 plus 12 is equal to 22 in this case. Now we need to compare this 22 comma node dot f. What is the node dot f here? 12. So which is the maximum? Maximum is 22. So that's the reason I have considered 22 here. Similarly for f. Again how we reach this particular f? We reach this f from a to d and d to f here. So a to d is 5. d to f is 4. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. And the heuristic value of f is 6. 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. So 15 is this value comma node dot f is 12. The maximum between these two is equal to 15. So the f value of this f is equal to 15 in this case. Now we have calculated the f value. Next what we need to do? We need to find the best successor node. Which is the best successor node among these two? f is the best successor node. Now we will check best of f. Best of f is 15. Is greater than the f limit. The current f limit is 14. So 15 is greater than the current f limit here. So because of that, what, it, what will happen? We will return the failure in this case. So we will forget this particular branch and what we do is we will update this 12 with 15 in this case. Now if you follow the path from here onwards, actually 12 is not the cost. What is the cost here? 15 is the cost in this case. Now what we got is we got the uh, three different uh, F values for this particular uh, A branch. That is 17, 14 and 15. Between these three, which is the best one? The best one is 14 now. So that is what the value over here. So the best dot f is 14 here and the f limit. What is the f limit right now? Infinity. Whether 14 is greater than f limit? No. So what we do is we will find the alternate. What is the alternate path? Alternate path is the second best node. Second best node is d here with f value 15. So d is the second best node with uh, f value 15. So we will calculate the f limit. f limit is minimum of current f limit. What is the current f limit? Current uh, f limit is uh, infinity here because we have already removed this one. So that is uh, uh, infinity comma alternate f value. What is the alternate f value? 15 is the alternate f value here. So between these two which is the minimum? 15 is the minimum. So the next uh, uh, f limit will become 15 here. So what will happen in this case is the c is the best node and f limit is equal to 15. Now we need to find the successors of c. What are the successors of C? E, A and D are the successors. Now, we need to calculate the F value for E here. How to calculate the F value for E? We have reached E from A to C, C to E. That is 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. And the heuristic value of E is equal to 2. It will become 15 here. So, the first value is what? 15. Comma, node dot F. What is the node here? C is the node. Its value is equal to 14. What is the maximum between these two? 15. So that is what I have written here. Similarly for A. How uh, did we reach this A? We have reached A from A to C, C to A. So A to C is 4, C to A is 4. That is equal to 8 plus its heuristic value that is 12 here. So 8 plus 12 is equal to 20 in this case. Now uh, what is the value we got? 20 here. Comma. What is the node dot f? Node dot f is 14 only. So between these two maximum is 20. So that is what I have written here. Similarly for f, we need to calculate the f value. That is a to c is 4. c to f is uh, 7. 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. 11 plus f value is 6 here. That is 17. So we got 17 in the first case, comma 14 here. So between these two, which is the maximum here? Again 17 is maximum. That is what I have written here. Now we found the successors as well as the f value. Once you get the f values, we need to find the best here. What is the best in this case? E is the best here. Now, once you get the best node, we need to check this condition. That is, best dot f is greater than f limit. 
best dot f is 15 here and the current f limit is how much 15 here whether 15 is greater than 15 no 15 is not greater than 15 so we need to find the alternate what is the alternate among these three this is the best one second best is f here so that is the alternate now we need to calculate the f limit what is the f limit minimum of current f limit current f limit is 15 comma alternate f value what is the alternate f value 17 what is the minimum between these two 15 is the minimum here so the f limit will become 15 here so which node we have selected e we have selected from here onwards we need to find the successors so the f limit for e is equal to 15 and its successors are c b and g here so these are the three successors we have for each of these successors we need to calculate the f values using this equation now once you calculate the f value of all three successors we need to find the best here among these three which is the best the best is g in this case now we need to compare this condition best dot f is equal to how much 17 and f limit is equal to how much right now 15 so whether 17 is greater than 15 yes 17 is greater than 15 so what will happen is it will return failure the meaning of this one is this is not the optimal path here so once it returns failure this 15 will be replaced with 17 that is the best value and this will be uh, forgotten from here onwards so you can see here 15 is replaced with 17 in this case now what we need to do is uh, we need to find the best among these three what is the best among these three again uh, sub, uh, e we can consider that is e is the best here or you can consider f also because that is also having the same uh, 17 value here now best dot f is equal to 17 what is the f limit right now 15 whether 17 is greater than 15 yes so what will happen failure will be written here again this 14 will be replaced with 17 in this case so that is what we have done and this particular branch will be forgotten because that is not a optimal uh, branch in this case now among these three which is the best one among these three d is the best one because it's, it's having the minimum f value here so best is equal to d again what is the f value f value is 15 in this case now what is the f limit the uh, parent uh, f limit we need to see that is infinity so 15 is greater than infinity no we need to calculate the alternate path here so second best node is c here with the value 17 or you can consider b also with value 17 anything is okay in this case so if i consider c uh, c is the alternate and we need to calculate the minimum of f limit that is infinity and alternate f value is equal to 17 the minimum among these two is 17 here so 17 will become the f limit from here onwards now here f limit is equal to 17 and d is the best node before we proceed we will check whether d is a goal node or not d is not the goal node so we will find the successors so there are two successors a and f with f limit is equal to 17 we need to find the f values using this equation f value of a is 22 and f value of node f is equal to 15 between these two f is having the minimum f limit hence best will be equal to f here so best dot f is equal to 15 the f limit is 17 currently so 15 is not greater than 17 so alternate will become what the alternate in this case is a the f limit is equal to minimum of current f limit that is 17 and alternate f value is equal to 22 here so between these two what is the minimum 17 is minimum so f limit will be 17 here so from here onwards f limit is 17 and the best node is equal to f here so because uh, f is the best node again we need to expand it before expansion we need to check whether it is a goal node or not f is not a goal node so we will find the successors for f c d and g are the successors here so what we do is uh, we will find the f value of all three using this equation with f limit is equal to how much again 17 here now uh, we need to find the best among these three the best node is g here and its f value is 15 here now what we need to do we need to compare this 15 against the current f limit that is 17 15 is not greater than 17 so we need to calculate the alternate alternate is d here and its f value is 20 so current f limit is 17 
alternate f value is equal to 20 between these two 17 is the minimum so from here onwards f limit is equal to 17 here now what we need to do the current uh, best node is g so we need to expand this g so before expansion what we need to do we need to check whether g is the goal node yes g is the goal node here so because of that we will stop as we got the solution in this case we have uh, reached this uh, goal node from a to d d to f and uh, f to g so this is the path what we have followed to reach from initial node to goal node and the total cost of this uh, path is equal to that is a to d is 5 d to f is equal to 4 f to g is equal to 6 if we add all three we will get 15 that is what is written here also so the total cost to reach from initial node to goal node with uh, recursive best first search algorithm for the given graph is 15 in this case so this is how we can apply the recursive best first search algorithm for the given graph to find an optimal path from the initial node to the goal node. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.